WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 324, NASDAQ's up 34, S&P's up 26. Gold, gold contract trading up $12.50 at $2,016 an ounce. We have silver up 57 cents, $22.96 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 54. $78.18 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up five ticks, trading 110.05. The third year up 10 at 118.25 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 424 ticks, trading out 104.299 euro at the uh, 107 yen at uh, 149 British pound at 125 to 1 US dollar. We can over and take a look at the S&P first, folks. Let's see what we have out here. So you got that nice bounce going out here, no doubt about it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a counter trend bounce because what you have is this, is that, you know, we, we come down that big volume. We have the big volume day from two and a half weeks ago, and you're going to have a contraction of volume today. Uh, we did yesterday. We did 68 million. Today's 39, so we'll probably do 49. That's the type of situation. If you keep crawling up, and it keeps contracting, that's saying that you know, bottom line, you're going to get a test, and more than likely, that test is going to be on lighter volume. Then you come back down the other side. We go take a look at the uh, note and bond market. So the note and bond market is snapping back. Well, the whole markets are snapping back. We'll see how this note and bond market, this is when bad news is good news. So you had bad news on the retail front today, which is good news on the market. Why? Because then if notes and bonds are going higher, that means that the interest rate structure once again is in play. My, my take is the interest rate structure is in play, period. The largest cycle is that we're on the other side of the cycle. It's going to be choppy, all of the above, but the bottom line, rates are going down, they're not going up. So if you take a look at this, it's that, you got the 10-year right now doing 1.6 million contracts, good contract volume, but it has to get back inside this range. The range that we're talking here is uh, 110.20. No, it's 110.30, actually. And we've hit 110.17 thus far. And if you go over to the dollar, now the dollar is so intriguing because we did right over a, a 0.618 retracement. And it's pulled right back. You know, So we'll see whether... It can get in, in the lower range. It's not in the lower range just yet. You know, you're down 400 ticks, but the lower range would uh, be that it'd have to get underneath this uh, 103, uh, 800 area. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.